welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Let me know, let me know. Anyway, so I was told uh, about an invention because I reacted to inventions uh, last week. Uh, inventions that Filipinos created. Amazing, by the way. And somebody told me that there was an H2O powered vehicle that a Filipino made. I'm like, no way, I've never heard about this. So I had a few links sent to me and we're going to react to one of them because I'm amazed if there was a vehicle created where water runs it and it's not being used today because that solves so many problems. Um, water is way more renewable than uh, oil, gas plus the pollution part so this is this is amazing to me like this is like why aren't we using this technology why so we're gonna find out we're gonna check this video out uh, like I said a Filipino created this and that is just top of the line invention right there so let's check it out Daniel Dingle water car project. Do a web search on hydrogen fuel cell cars and you will find that all top American, German, and Japanese car manufacturers are currently experimenting with hydrogen technology. Right. These car manufacturers believe, and environmentalists agree, that hydrogen is the perfect alternative renewable fuel solution. Cars fueled by hydrogen leave no trace of pollution except for a bit of clean water vapor. Right. Could this be the perfect solution? Perhaps. It could but be. This technology will require a huge multi billion dollar infrastructure change to make the switch to hydrogen fueling stations. Despite several advances in technology, the reality of a hydrogen fueled car appearing on the streets is still many decades away. Or worse, may never be, due to impractical and overly complicated fuel cell car design. Is it that or is it big oil companies don't want it to happen because you start messing with people's oil money? And then, you know, companies can make people disappear. Um, I don't know why we're not using this, but it feels like that we should be using it. In the meantime, fossil fuel resources may run out within your children's lifetime. However, there is hope. There is one hydrogen-powered car in the world that doesn't need a filling station. The car you're about to see runs on tap water from your kitchen faucet. That's amazing. It was developed by Daniel Dingle, who invented and drove his first water-powered car over 30 years ago. 30 years? This is his story. 30 Hi, years? So we're at the home of Daniel Dingle, Filipino inventor. He's here to show us a few of his inventions, which includes a, a car fueled with seawater. Wow. This is Mr. Daniel Dingle. So I started the, uh, this invention way back 1968. It's already about 30 years ago. Wow. And I keep still keep improving it and improving it because in any invention, there is always room for improvement. And it's very difficult right. to accept. But there's one car invented by an ordinary person like him, now running on the road. He's just using water as fuel. But the principle involved is something universal. Hydrolysis of water and using the hydrogen from the water molecule as a fuel. So I started with that and then I what I did is I went to see the president, former president Marcos, and then huh. explained my invention that could help our economy. Wow. The president welcomed the idea, but the problem is <clears throat> There was a code so everything fails. And then comes another president, and to see the president, Cory Aquino. And then, as a matter of fact, he rides with the car with me. And he was with me in the car, testing the car. And he said that uh, this is the miracle I have been waiting for. Like, if so, if, if Marcus was like, yeah, that's a great idea, let's try it, and then they didn't get ever the chance to produce it, and then the next president's like yeah it's the miracle i've been waiting on what are we what are we waiting on why aren't we using this like i love nature i don't want to see nature harmed it, it sounds like this invention would save nature quite a bit i mean why aren't we using this maybe they'll explain i don't know but uh sad to say that after uh, two weeks i was able to know that the government is not in the position to help 
It's not only a matter of scientific problem that we are confronted with. In fact, it becomes becomes more political than anything else. Because under the agreement between the IMF and the World Bank, our country is under obligation by the IMF and the World Bank not to produce anything that will compete the product. And then... Hold on. Hold on. So... What, they have an agreement with the World Bank that they're not going to compete? Get out of here, World Bank. The World Bank pisses me off. I'm going to let you know. Um, the World Bank controls countries, controls people. Too much power to the World Bank. And you're telling me something that's so good for humanity, something that's so good for the Philippines, something so good for the world because you signed the thing saying you're not going to compete, we're not going to let you produce this? That is just total BS. Total BS. Pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. So the 40% oil tax, there will be no more revenue for the government. But I told him that, sir, it will prolong the life of the people. Right. Because there will be no more pollution. Right. So I keep working on it and then improving my invention, maybe thinking that one day, someday, uh, maybe this invention will be used and uh, it will help humanity. Now we go to the car. Should be. This is irritating me. I feel sorry for this guy and really humanity, like he said. Driving on water. Now that is amazing, my friends. Hmm. This here is the water. You need one liter of water to run for one hour. Wow! Yeah. You see this one here? Oh, there you go. Is this you real? See, uh, that is water. Okay? So when you put that one there, it's light. But that is water, really. See, this one here is water. Oh. It is not supposed to to light the the bulb because it's supposed to destroy because there is water. It's like in electricity when there is water. See that water here? You, you touch the you touch the the water. There is no current, but it there is a current. In it, see, but there is light. See, so you remove that. See, there is the water. That is uh, the easiest way to split the water. Now I'm amazed. Is, you put the switch on here. So using that battery, see immediately hydrogen oxygen uh, is being produced. Oh. See, and then the bigger the bigger uh, uh, balls there goes in here. It goes to the uh, here, and then it goes direct to the combustion chamber. But there is a regulator here which regulates the hydrogen that is needed in the engine. Huh. See? And then the oxygen goes here. So what uh, you when you start the engine. You remove this, the engine stops. Okay, now. Then, eh, no, I'll show you. You remove the battery. So you see the, the battery. Reducing only one battery. All right, I'll see, put this switch on. Right. See? No, 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 no lights without battery. And then you put the battery. Oh, you see? So there is already the splitting of hydrogen. Right. Using only that small battery. I was able to split the water uh, in uh, very minimal car current. That is the trade secret of the invention. This man it's sounds genius. See, you need about four to five turns before it runs because there is no fuel pump. It creates first hydrogen being sucked into the intake manifold. No fuel pump either, huh? Since hydrogen is 14 times lighter than air, it goes immediately to the combustion chamber. So what you do here, you remove this one here, and this is the fuel cyst line. You remove this, the engine stops. You smell. You smell if there is fuel. If you, is this water? Yeah. No, no, you smell it. If there is gasoline. No. Oh. This is not working. Oh, so <laughs> you start the start. Plus, if there was gasoline, he just poured water in that hole, you know? There's not gasoline in there. It sure looks like there's water into it. And I'm surprised I've not heard about this story until um, some of my family members commented and said, Hey! Check this out. You want to see an invention? 
You want to see an awesome invention that could change the world? And it would also take companies out because big oil companies would crumble. This man could do it. It sounds like it anyway. Let me know if this tr is true. It's got to be true because this is, we have to use this technology. Start. You see, <coughs> without this, it won't start. Now you put this one here. So the water runs here. No, there is, they say that there, maybe there is gasoline heat in there. You cannot mix hydrogen with gasoline. <laughs> right? You cannot mix hydrogen, I uh, know, uh, gasoline with water. And then you see the idling. It's only about 600 RPM, <clears throat> and it's very smooth. How long have you had this car driving this car? Four years. When I, when this, I bought this four years ago. Four years. Then I test it and test it and test it after testing it. We remove the engine, dismantle the engine, get all the data before and after. So we've been working this for almost 30 years, improving it, improving it. Wow. Um, your other cars that, that run on hydrogen? This one runs on hydrogen. Yeah, you, have, you said you had other cars that run on hydrogen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of them? Yeah, it's in the farms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have a farm. Um, what's the oldest car that you've had running on hydrogen? No, we started from Chevrolet, then Buick, Pontiac, and then up to La, uh, Mitsubishi. And wow, then different Toyota. brands. Yeah. So how many years ago was the earliest car driving on hydrogen? How long? Oh, long time ago, 1969, we are already uh, oh, wow. transforming it into H2O. <laughs> so uh, we got 100 of this already working in my farm. We plan to to modify it to water and wow. then give it all to all countries who are interested to use it. So what they do, they run the engine, then they copy what is inside, then they can build it, they can modify it and improve it. Patent it. Patent then it. Then we have a joint partnership. Yes, patent that it. That's my idea. No, yes, patent it. Something to say about the Filipinos having, the, having had a very significant contribution for the progress of mankind yeah. and for protecting the environment. Well, some people are afraid to uh, use a hydrogen car to say they think it's an electric mushroom. Yeah, Mr. Hydrogen from Switzerland came here and what he asked me is, are you not afraid that hydrogen will explode? Like what you have seen, how the power of the explosion. I said, if I know the meaning of explosion, I would not have done it. Right. That is the reason I was able to do it, because I don't know the meaning of explosion. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> because you know why, the, why, why it will not explode? Because another invention that I made, you fill this aluminum right into your tank, and then you get a, a fire, a torch. You build it in your tank with gasoline. It will not explode. Wow. So you fill this up with your tank. It will not explode. It will just, uh, the flame will just be there. No explosion. This happens to my car. Smart man. The car was tested by, by the German people. They came here, they had it tested. And then uh, they make some proposals, but uh, I didn't like the proposal. It is a one-sided proposal. Right. You, maybe about 10 big corporations from Japan came here. Uh, then they have test the car. But the way I look at it, they want to steal the, the technology of the invention. Of course. Because the invention is so big that no person would like to share. So what I want is uh, put up uh, the, the income or what I want to share is that I can get from all these inventions right. that will be put to uh, it's gotta be used fair. by any other investors or interested investors. Put up a foundation for the Filipino people. That is my dream. Not directly to the government, but directly to the people. Right. Hoping that uh, maybe with the blessings of the good Lord, I can accomplish it if I still live. Somebody so invest with them, with a good heart. Not so far away, but maybe it's just around the corner. Because the intention is there and it works. This is a golden opportunity. Why is companies and countries got to be so greedy? You know? Pay this man. Pay this man for his great invention. Help humanity. Um, why, why is people got to be greedy? You know what I mean? This man needs to be paid. If he created something this so unique and this awesome, 
He deserves. He deserves the pain. It sounds like he's got a great heart too. He just wants to help people, help you know, help the human population. I mean, that's amazing. So is there a warm up time where anything no, 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 no. And this car is <coughs> Yeah. What's the click sound? Is that something with the engine? Yeah, no, that is nothing to do with the uh, production of more, more current, more electricity. When you're on the highway, you see the, the power. Yeah. It's got power too. How much water is that? That's about 7 liters. And it's seawater, not mineral water? Or no, so much of the day because it's uh, organic, ordinary water. Like, let's like, say, tap water. Tap water. The higher the salt content, the better? Or? Yeah, the higher the salt is like that. Like uh, uh, producing uh, baby water from a salt water, which is, you know, the premium. What do you mean, since you can even be Thomas for the whole world, as you burn it? I need to see this vehicle. I need to like drive it. I want to see it personally. Like, why aren't we using this? The oil become all the more happier. So the era is about to pass. They have of the wealth of the whole world already. This car is no mystery. It's something real. I'm just shocked, you know, like we have to use this. We have to we have we have to use this technology. I don't know if this guy's still alive or not. Hopefully, because it's an older video. Hopefully he's alive and he's getting a partnership and we can put these things on the road because um, not only do the people need them, the earth the earth needs it, you know? No pollution. No pollution. And they're fighting this guy because of money? That's just crazy in my opinion. But it seems legit to me. It seems real to me. Let me know if you know more about the story. If it's got, if it's gone anywhere, if the companies are going to start to use it, let me know. I know you guys have the answers. You always do a great job in the comment section, so let me know so I can read it and learn and expand my mind. But I appreciate the story because I knew nothing about it, and now I do. So um, just let me know if it's legit and if anything's being done with this technology that this Filipino inventor created. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Those are my reactions. What's yours? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what you want me to react to next. And uh, if you want to hit the subscribe button, you can. I appreciate it. Peace, love, happiness. Spread it around the world.